Lands Minister James Orengo, who blew the whistle over the controversial sale of the Grand Regency Hotel, finally took to the stand to explain the alleged underhand dealings to what he has consistently termed a shoddy deal. Appearing as the 19th witness at the coca led Commission, Orengo reiterated his stand that the sale of the Grand Regency Hotel did not involve the Kenyan and the Libyan governments. In transactions involving the government, uh, the Attorney General would normally be involved. And the, on the face of it, the Attorney General was not involved. The minister, who says he has the backing of all the documents involving the transaction, disclosed that as far as he was concerned, the hotel was sold to a Kenyan company. The faces of the characters appearing there, although their names, I didn't have the privilege of knowing their names at the time. Page, uh, page 24. Page 24. I came to the conclusion that all these people were Kenyans, and I told the media as much. Uh, but later on, I discovered that I was not wrong in saying so. The lands minister also insisted that he was intentionally locked out of the transactions, most of which were referred to as top secret and confidential. Orengo says that efforts to consult with the commissioner of lands, Zablo Nabeh, hit a brick wall after the commissioner refused to pick up his calls or appear in his office. But I, but I formed the conclusion that he was avoiding me. Uh, I was uh, absolutely furious about his conduct. The minister says he only got to see the commissioner two days later and only after he received information that the transfer documents had been registered, with the commissioner explaining that he saw no need to involve him since everything had been in order. He was obviously, when I talked to him, and he did concede to, concede to me that he was under extreme pressure. He, 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 he said the pressure was coming from the Treasury, uh, the pressure was coming from other arms of government. Uh, uh, but he said, at the end of the day, he said he's prepared to, to bear the burden. Orengo, who throughout his testimony failed to implicate former finance minister Amos Kimunya in the controversial sale, however, was criticized by Kimunya's lawyer after he disregarded a report by the parliamentary committee into the sale which he chaired. Professor Gidumuga is saying the document was relevant, especially since its recommendations consequently led to the motion of no confidence to the former finance minister. After 10 pages of evaluation of documents and evaluation of evidence, it calls for the minister to step aside on the 11th page where the entire document makes no reference to anything that the minister did. It is absolutely essential. The minister will continue with his testimony tomorrow. Evelyn Wambui, KTN Prime.